Hello from ULAR 2022. This is Dr. Eric Dine uh, reporting with Room Now. I'm coming at you from New Jersey, virtually uh, tuning in to Copenhagen for uh, this wonderful conference thus far. Uh, I'm going to chat with you about one presentation that uh, I thought was uh, interesting and clinically relevant, which was oral presentation 0139, which was looking at sexual dysfunction in our patients. Um, do you talk to your patients with RA and, and psoriatic arthritis about sexual function? My guess is probably not as much as they are thinking about it. Um, this is something that uh, is on the minds of many patients and um, we often are not screening for or asking about. Um, this was a study coming from Spain, looking at autoimmune patients versus healthy controls. Uh, uh, and they analyzed the results of a CSFQ14 questionnaire. Um, so the CSFQ14 is a, um, is a questionnaire that assesses four domains of sexual function. It assesses pleasure, uh, desire, arousal, and orgasm and, and association of pain with orgasm. Um, there are uh, obviously different questions for both men and women that can both use uh, the questionnaire uh, and assess sexual function. There were 188 uh, individuals that participated in the trial, um, 72 with psoriatic arthritis and 27 with rheumatoid arthritis, and these patients were compared against healthy controls. What they found was a very high degree of sexual dysfunction in our patient populations. 30% of patients with psoriatic arthritis and 48%, nearly half of the patients with rheumatoid arthritis. This compared to just 5% in the control group. Um, the odds ratio uh, for this is 8.7 for psoriatic arthritis and 10 times for patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, other risk factors included age, employment status, income level. Um, it was worth noting there's a very high rate of depression in the group, more than 70%. Uh, and I, I would expect this to play a role, but uh, they reported that this was not found to be a statistically significant risk factor, but I think definitely something worth paying attention to. Uh, another um, topic of conversation from the Q&A session of this talk uh, was one of the questionnaires brought up uh, a recommendation about looking further into uh, steroid therapy in these patients, as that's something that can definitely uh, impact uh, sexual function. So I'm interested about this uh, study in, in more detail. I hope there's some more information to come with the eventual paper, um, but I think it's highly relevant. I think it's something that um, if we're not talking to our patients about, I think it's something that, that definitely um, they're thinking about, they would be interested in learning more about. Um, I, I'm curious to see a little bit more about these four domains. They reported that um, all four domains were impaired in autoimmune disease, um, but I, I'm curious to see some more of the data and see is it more of a, a desire libido issue or is it more of a, a function issue, uh, as well as some of the differences with, with men and women. Um, but I think this is something that shows quite a marked difference between our autoimmune patients and the general population. Um, so very, um, very good. Um, uh, presentation here and um, looking forward to more to come throughout ULAR 2022. Check out Room Now for uh, lots more coverage.